this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video in the 20 block challenge, and this is the challenge where I'm trying to get every single trophy in the game while only placing down 20 blocks, and so far it's going pretty good, and the last episode I was able to get probably one of the uh, the most difficult trophies, uh, which was the um, the rainbow collection trophy, uh, where I needed to get a uh, to get 16 blocks of wool uh, of every different colour uh, that there, there is in the game, so it was a toughie, I will be honest, it was a toughy one, but I was able to do it uh, all in a, in one episode. And uh, today uh, is not about a uh, it's not about trophy hunting really. It's more about decorating because my house, my house. So this is my house, and I like the style. I like the look of the the clay. I kind of like what I've done so far. I love my little feature wall in my bedroom, but the problem is it kind of um it kind of just blends into the mountain a bit. It's kind of hard to know uh, where the mountain ends and where my house starts. Uh, so a lot of that is going to be solved once I kind of chisel it away. And you may have noticed I have done a little bit more work. I have done a little bit more digging. Uh, but yeah, I really need to to kind of just make my house stand out uh, by adding more things to the the front of it, and of course inside as well. I need to uh, to decorate. Uh, inside uh, the rooms as well. So yeah, uh, that's going to be about what uh, that's going to be uh, what today uh, is uh, is all about. So uh, let's um, let's start off by kind of thinking. Let's think about the outside first. Uh, but before I start building, I'm going to go and start gathering some wool because I know I want to put down some carpets. And uh, I'm going to go and just start the uh, the whole gathering wool process with the the sheep. So I got plenty in there, and kind of every time I walk past, I can go and uh, and shear them. I did spend the whole last episode getting a bunch of wool and uh, and shearing sheep, but that's not that's not going to be a common theme in this uh, in this series. It's kind of just because I, I need to to do it now. And uh, I've actually put all of the wool and the the dyes in the the temple, uh, so I'm not going to bother going all the way over there. So let's just kind of let's kind of look at what we have and think about what we could do. So. Um, well, we've got two yellow here, and I could get some more yellow. We've got two pink as well, and then two blue. So let's go and, uh, let's turn these, the purple and the red one, let's turn these yellow, and I guess we can have, um, yellow as, like, the, the main colour, I guess. And then let's go and start breeding some of these, uh, so we get some, uh, some more baby sheep. Uh, so these should, uh, hopefully grow up by the, the end of the, the episode. So these are, I guess, kind of the, the colours I have to, to work with, uh, I guess is the, the best way to put it. So, uh, let's kind of, every time I come past it, I go and do a bit more shearing, then hopefully, eventually, I'm gonna have enough to, to create a, a rather funky pattern. And let's go and just put some random things in my inventory, so I don't accidentally place down any of these blocks, uh, because, yeah, that would be a, a bit of a, a tragedy. I also got some, uh, I got some chickens as well. Uh, I got the uh, the sheep into their pen and I got some chickens and I was hoping uh, there'd be an egg down here for me so I could make a cake, but sadly there isn't. So yeah, cake production should officially start soon. I've had one cake, uh, but yeah, I should be able to uh, to get it a lot more soon. Anyway, uh, let's, have a, let's have a look at the, the outside of this place then. So of course I am pretty limited uh, in terms of what I can do uh, because I can't place blocks, but I can place some things. So of course, uh, fences is an option. So let's kind of look, I could place doors. Uh, I can't place stairs. I'm not allowing myself to place half slabs. There's gate doors, fences, like iron bars. Uh, it's something that like, there really isn't very much that I can place around here, to be honest. Uh, I can't even place food unless it's a cake, because a cake isn't a block. A melon's a block. A pumpkin's a block, but I don't count cake as being a block. So I've obviously got like torches and things. Um, you know, I could do something with redstone. I get, I get have like daylight like uh, sensors is something that I could use. Of course, not yet because I don't have any. I can't really place any of them. I mean, a minecart track. I could have a minecart whizzing around, maybe setting off redstone lamps. That could look cool. I might actually do that. I do actually have a, a few tracks. Let's 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 do that. Let's go and start by doing something pretty funky then. So yeah, I do have some uh, some spare tracks uh, which I got from the uh, the abandoned mine shaft. I of course need to uh, to do some um uh, some power rails as well. Oh, I can't make redstone lamps yet because I need glowstone. Okay, so let's uh let's put that idea on hold. Remind me because there's a good chance I'm going to forget about it. But let's put that idea on hold and let's kind of do a few easier things uh, that I am definitely going to to be able to to do uh, yeah to to do right now. So let's go and make some um let's go and make some uh, some trap doors I guess because they're uh, going to be a nice easy thing I can do and let's kind of put them all around maybe like the the bottom uh, of the uh, of the the place uh, just to to kind of like uh, be like a nice trim I guess around the uh, uh, yeah around the uh, the house outside the uh, the front. 
So let's kind of put down a, a few of these and uh, let's kind of just check out uh, how it ends up looking. So if I kind of place them all down like this and then just go uh, across and I can just go and flap them all like this and it's just gonna just gonna make it look more like a house. I actually I could add some windows in as well. I haven't actually put uh, too much thought about windows and you can see I actually kind of dug down too far here but I think it actually ends up uh, looking not too bad. So let's go and uh, put these trap doors uh, along here and I think this does look cool so I'm gonna make some uh, some more and uh, do it on the the other side. I should probably uh, go and cut down uh, a few more trees though because uh, I am running out of, uh, of wood pretty quick and uh, my axe is relatively nearly broken and seeing as I'd have to come all the way back here uh, to get another one I might as well uh, go and make another one while I'm here so let's go and uh, get some iron and oh I got some iron bars let's go and grab them so I don't forget to, to use them uh, just because I've already made them I just feel like <laughs> I want to use them so I guess I could do I could use ladders a lot more as well and I kind of do have some some ladders kind of randomly on the corner uh, and these are just kind of really helpful the fact that they're here, because it allows me to jump up. But I guess what I could do is if I get rid of uh, of these and uh, put the uh, the trap door down there, I can like jump up here like that and kind of get up the the top anyway. Uh, so they're they're kind of not they're not as essential uh, as they uh, as they were before. So let's go and get rid of them. And let's uh, I can probably just cut down one of these trees. To be honest, these trees are so huge. If I just kind of cut down one of these, uh, this should be enough because I also want some uh, uh, some wood to to do sticks and things so I can make paintings and item frames. And so I think that like. Item frames, paintings, and like carpet is kind of really the only things I could do inside. Actually, I could do plant pots. And a plant pot would be a good thing to do. One, because it's a good decoration and I can, of course, put a plant in it. Uh, but there's also, there's a, there's a trophy for it. Uh, there's a trophy called uh, Pot Planter. Uh, and uh, it says craft and place a, uh, a flower pot. And of course, a, a flower pot isn't a, isn't a block. It's a, it's a pot. <laughs> so yeah, if I track down some, some clay, uh, that might be a nice way to do some decorations and uh, get myself. A, a, a nice trophy uh, as well, which is uh, always a, a very satisfying thing. So actually, while I'm over here, should we have a should we have a little bit of a wander? Because there's a lot of water down here, and I feel like this might be a, a nice place to, to find some clay. Like, normally anywhere where there's water, you have a, a decent chance of finding some clay. Uh, apart from here, apparently, because I can't... Actually, is that some... Is that some down there? It annoyingly looks a lot like sand, and no, I think that... I think that is just sand down there, so uh, maybe I'm not going to get too lucky. There's water all over the place around here, so I'm not uh, too worried uh, about it. I did do a little bit more mining, by the way. You can actually see this little hole down here. <laughs> I found there and explored there. And the only reason is I just wanted some more iron. I didn't like mine deep anywhere. I just needed some more iron because when I was chiseling up the, the mountain, I was just going through pickaxes like non-stop. Uh, so I just wanted to, to get uh, a bit of spare iron uh, so I wouldn't run out for, for that. And where? Where is all the, the clay? I do think there's probably going to be some better places to, to look. I find like, um, looking in the, uh, the really shallow water is normally the, uh, the best place to, to find a, a bunch of, of clay. So yeah, I'll look uh, somewhere else a little bit later on. Uh, but since I'm going past the, uh, the sheep pen, uh, let's kind of do a, let's do another pass of sheep shearing, shall we? And, uh, and try and get a, uh, as much more as we can. Because uh, it'd be good to, to kind of cover the, uh, let, let's kind of focus on my bedroom first for now. Uh, let's try and get that room done in the, the episode. And then, uh, as much of the, uh, the outside uh, of the, uh, the house done at the, uh, the same time, uh, while we're, uh, while we're here. So yeah, uh, let's go and uh, carry on doing the, the trap doors, and then I might go and uh, add some windows down as well. So tell you what, let's just go and um, uh, break away a little bit of the uh, this sand uh, around here, uh, so then I'm going to be able to, to place some windows down. Luckily, if there's one thing in this world I am never ever going to run out of, uh, and that, that that's sand, because sand is literally absolutely everywhere around this place. So it's got its good things. I know I've moaned about this area a lot, the fact that it's kind of just endless desert, but... There, there are its good qualities, I guess. You know, the fact that uh, I can get all of this sand kind of whenever I want. And I think already this is looking better. I know it's a bit wonky because I've only done it on one side so far. And of course, I'm going to uh, sort that out now. But I think uh, kind of just as a as a start of a design, kind of as a, a proof of concept, I think it already uh, is looking pretty good. So yeah, now I've got a, a whole load more wood. I can go and make a bunch of that into to planks. And let's just make a, a bunch of these. Just, let's, let's just make all of that uh, into to these. Because if I don't use them all up now, I'm sure I'm going to use them upstairs or, or somewhere else at another point. Uh, uh, seen as they are kind of one of the uh, the few things that I'm able to to place. And let's try and get uh, Wooly 1 and Wooly 2 out the way. That's what I call them, isn't it? I think I called them Wooly because they were just staring into the uh, the, the wall. So let's go and uh, uh, place all of these uh, around here. All right, let's once again break away these ladders so I can do that there. Then let's kind of go and do it along the uh, uh, the bottom around here as well. And there we go. That was uh, pretty much uh, the uh, the perfect amount. I will also um I will go and try and sort out the front of this area because this bit here looks a little bit messy now. So I might kind of try and neaten that up. And I could kind of like 
I could do this dash. I could like make it into like a path, I guess. So it's like as if it's a raised section leading towards it. So let's go like one, two, three. So uh, if I break that away, is that gonna fall off the uh, the trapdoor? No, there we go. Uh, that's perfect there. So let's go and kind of uh, dig this uh, along there like that. And uh, let me just double check. So uh, yeah, I went two from the door. So I then need to go here. And then if I kind of steady on dogs, I am swinging a rather sharp pickaxe around here. So steady on. <laughs> yeah, if I kind of just dig the uh, the rest of uh, of this away and be really careful not to dig away my house. Let's do it from this angle to be safe. Yeah, I think that's going to look cool. And actually the, the trap doors might look in a, in a bit of a weird place, especially as it goes down there. Okay, that's actually cool. I could just kind of move them uh, all one block down and then maybe add the, the ladders around the front door or something. I think that could end up looking pretty cool. So uh, once again, I'm kind of just uh, going with what I have available available to me in the area and it kind of makes me do things different to, to how I would have done them otherwise. I could actually do like two rows of um of these trap doors actually. I think that might look uh, look pretty good or even like something else. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do two rows. I think I'm just going to go and add a, a neck extra row across and uh, that looks good. That looks really cool actually. So yeah, I can go and uh, add in more of these trap doors but it is becoming night time now so uh, it's probably going to be a good time for me to, to run out to bed. Actually, tell you what, while we're down here and the sheep have grown back their wool, uh, let's just do uh, another shearing pass <laughs> where we just run through, uh, shear them all and kind of uh, run back. I love wool. I love wool as a building material because you can just get any color you want and you can just get it almost endlessly. And I love the um, I love the look of wool in this texture pack as well. Like it's basically, it basically hasn't got a texture. You know, it's kind of got like a little square around the outside, but it's basically just like the pure color. And I really love the uh, the the look of that. Same with like the the grass and stuff as well. If you look at it, it really doesn't have like much of a texture at all. You can kind of see a few lines just because of the the lighting, but it's basically just green, just endless green. And I kind of love that the uh, the style uh, of what it looks like uh, in this texture pack. So a lot of people always ask me like you know why I use this texture pack so much and kind of not really any of the others I just like it I, ju I just really like it a lot and I know a lot of you like it uh, as well uh, and I think it's I think it's like a very inoffensive texture pack like I feel like something like the um like the city texture pack or even like or like the pattern one might be a good example is one that some people might love and some people might hate but I think like the the plastic one is just so nice and just so simple looking like people are either going to really like it or just not mind it I don't, I don't think there's anyone who could be really passionately saying that they hate the plastic texture pack I don't know maybe there is maybe that's all the uh, the comments are going to, to be for this uh, this video now and let's quickly get that block out of my inventory before I <laughs> accidentally go and, uh, and place it down I can be like I'm normally a clumsy builder and so this is a this series is probably going to be a good way to to force me to not be a clumsy builder just because I really can't afford to be a clumsy builder because I can't you know not only can I not place a block in the wrong place I can't place a block at all it's kind of just the uh, the rules of the game so yeah let's kind of do that bottom row along there and then we can go and do this uh, row along here and I think already and this is going to make this look more like uh, an actual house uh, rather than just uh, a doorway in the side of a, of a mountain. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this. I'm really looking forward to uh, to kind of going properly uh, into into kind of decorating mode in this really weird way. Because like so much of my, my Minecraft life is spent building and kind of, you know, like the problem is so I spent so long building, you kind of get set in your ways. You know, say if I'm like, you know, I want to build something, I kind of know exactly in my head how I'm going to do it because I've probably built something pretty similar before. But with this is completely changed like the way I think about everything to, to do with the game which is kind of making it so interesting with me all right then uh, I should have my um my glass should be nicely smelted now uh, so yeah let's go and uh, grab this I of course need to uh, make this into some uh, some glass panes because uh, I'm not allowed to, to place the uh, the block so uh, let's kind of let's kind of do this from the uh, the outside I think that's gonna be a best way to work out uh, exactly actually no let's do it from the inside because I can see exactly where the walls end so let's maybe go like uh, leave a gap of one on either side like that. Uh, so that's kind of uh, four blocks along. One, two, three, four. Then let's do the same here. One, two, three, four. I kind of panicked then because I remember uh, my house is a little bit wonky. I was kind of panicking that that wouldn't fit in perfectly. But there we go. I think that looks uh, pretty good. And uh, I reckon now, just with those few simple changes, this is going to look a lot more like a, a proper house uh, than it did do before. Look at that. There we go. It looks like a home. It looks like an actual home. And of course, I can uh, keep adding uh, to it. And I, I really want to do that that um, minecart thing just because I think it sounds funky. <laughs> It's only uh, definitely something that I want to do in the uh, the future. But for now, let's uh, let's switch tracks a little bit. 
And let's try and focus uh, a bit more on the uh, on the inside of this area. So uh, once again, while I'm here, let's go and uh, and uh, shear some uh, some more sheep uh, to go and help to, towards my uh, my carpets. And then let's go for a very quick clay hunt uh, before we go inside and start decorating that. Uh, because I know I want to, to place down some plant pots. Uh, let's go for a little bit of a, of a hunt uh, to see if we can find the uh, the clay to make the the plant pots. So I also want to work out where I'm going to place the plant pots because I can't place blocks. Like I don't want just to have them all like on the floor, do I? I think that would look a little bit silly if they're all kind of just sitting down on the the floor. So I do need to uh, to try and find a good place. Like, can you put them on fence poles? Can you put them on fence poles? I'm not sure if you can. We're, we're experiment. We're going to go and try and work it out and uh, try and find uh, a good place to, to put the plant spot down. But first, I really need to, to find the clay. And I've either been unlucky and not uh, seen the clay, or I have seen it, but just been blind and haven't noticed yet. <laughs> and actually, I should probably uh, pick some flowers as well while I'm around here. Seeing as uh, uh, I'm getting flower pots, uh, they're kind of, yeah, they're not really much without the, the flowers themselves. And it seems like there's a few more of the... Um, uh, the interesting types of flowers around here. As here, let's just go and grab a few of these uh, while we're in the uh, while we're in the the area. So let's go and grab uh, uh, some of these um. Uh, some of these white ones. I saw a red one uh, behind me over there. So let's go and grab a few of these. And there's some yellow ones all over the place as well. And oh, look, there's uh, some of these um, uh, these pretty ones down here as well. We could go and grab some of these. I don't really want mushrooms, I don't think. So let's not worry about the, the mushroom at all. Oh, there we go. I was thinking it wasn't letting me grab them, but it is. So yeah, let's go and uh, grab uh, a few more of these. But where's the clay? There's got to be clay around here somewhere. Surely, surely there's clay. I'm just, I'm just scared that I've seen it and not noticed, and you've all seen it and are shouting me at this point, but I, I can't tell because it's just, that is one of the things about this texture pack, is some of the blocks do look quite similar, uh, and uh, clay in particular and sand do look so similar, uh, it's kind of um, it's kind of hard to tell, but this is clay, yeah, there we go, this is actual clay, so I don't need much of it, uh, because clay pots uh, are pretty easy to, to, to make, and each kind of clay block uh, allows you to, to get quite a, a lot of clay, so here we go. We are not only uh, going to, to be able to, uh, to to decorate the the house, uh, we're also going to get the uh, the trophy. So it feels good. It feels like I had a whole video decorating my house and I got a trophy. So like, it doesn't feel like it's wasted time at all. Because of course, kind of all of these decorations, they pretty much are wasted time. If I'm honest, it is basically time that I could have spent getting towards an, uh, a trophy. Uh, but um, yeah, I just feel like it's okay. And so if I keep saying achievement, by the way, I've just been playing Minecraft on Xbox for so long. And this is kind of my, my first... Um, my first PlayStation uh, like series, I guess. So I'm just very used to uh, to, to saying um, achievement rather than trophy. So yeah, sorry if I do uh, keep doing that. Let's uh, let's empty my inventory a bit because I'm getting my pockets rather full up here. And uh, as you know, that just it just drives me crazy. Like even if I don't need to pick up anything else, uh, just having full pockets always just drives me crazy. So I might go and uh, empty them a little bit. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do one more pass of the uh, the uh, the sheep pen, and I'm pretty sure that's gonna be um. Uh, enough wool uh, to do at least a, a decent uh, amount of the uh, the the carpet. I've actually uh, got the uh, the wheat on me still as well, so I could probably go and uh, breed some uh, some more sheep. Uh, that just means it's going to be way easier in the uh, the future uh, to get more and more wool. So let's just go crazy around here, uh, try and get some uh, some more baby sheep, uh, sheep, and then let's go and do the the exact same thing uh, with the uh, the shears and get a, a whole bunch of wool. So how how much do I have? Uh, I actually haven't got a huge amount. Oh, 44 yellow. Definitely, a uh, yellow is going to be the main color. Uh, just because that's what I have the, the most of, and I can't be bothered to, to wait around with something else. And how well how well do these colours go together? How well does pink, light blue, and yellow go together? It's gonna look like a um, it's gonna look like a baby's bedroom, isn't it? They're kind of like very baby colours uh, that you might have for a, a baby's bedroom, like those kind of nice pastel bright uh, colours. Uh, so yeah, I think that actually might be what it ends up looking like, which I'm fine with. Uh, I think that as long as it's got a, a unique style, then that's gonna be fine with me. And I actually kind of ended up getting way more clay than I needed. So Let's just go and throw a little bit down there uh, because yeah, I just, I just, I'm just not protective about gathering all of the materials because you know normally I wouldn't just throw materials away like that. But at the moment I'm just thinking, oh, that's gonna waste space in the chest, and you know space is pretty precious around here. So <laughs> yeah, I'm always just uh, really uh, careful uh, with uh, with everything uh, with everything like that. All right then. And let's go and make some. Uh, let's go and make some carpets, then, shall we? So uh, I've got the the blocks ready. Let's just go and see uh, how many I can uh, uh, I can make. So how many yellow? That's uh, oh over a stack. Over a stack with yellow. That's looking promising. Uh, 24 pink and light blue. There is going to be 27. That's not bad. That is not bad uh, at all. And I've actually got uh, enough uh, uh, bricks here already uh, to go and make myself a pot. You do need bricks, don't you? It's not clay you need. I'm pretty sure it is bricks you need. Let's go and uh, and see where's the uh, where's the 
plant pot. It's going to be in decorations for only. There we go. Uh, I have now made a. Oh, it's not a plant. It's called a, a flower pot, not a plant pot. Oh, I mean, there we go. I've now made myself a, a flower pot. Uh, so when I place that down, uh, that is going to to be my trophy. So uh, let's uh, let's go and do a little test. Maybe we could put the the flower pots in the corner of the room. Uh, it might look um. Uh, pretty nice and uh let's uh we'll say what we could have them we could have them along the um the balcony if it allows me to place them which hopefully it does oh no i can't place them on fences that is a shame actually that's a big shame because at the moment they're just going to be all sitting on the floor but let's put one either side of my bed so is, it, is that going to be a trophy Yay! Pot planter. So at least I've got a, a trophy today. And uh, let's go and put a, a lovely plant inside of the um, the plant pot. Nope, that one's not going to go in. Are you going to fit in the plant pot? There, whoa! It just grew. <laughs> there we go. With a lovely uh, plant next to me on the other side there as well. So yeah, I'm of course going to make it another one and do that. Oh uh, yeah, but for now, uh, let's get... Let's get carpet placing, I guess. Let's kind of uh, come up with a pattern. I just don't... I don't want to do just straight stripes. Because I think that's uh, a little bit boring. Let's kind of come up with a a bit more of a a unique style, then, shall we? So, uh, where's the where's the middle of the room? Is that like down here? We got one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So if I kind of go like that, uh, and then let's kind of work out the middle this way. So we got one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So if I kind of go like that, that should work out, I think. Uh, should be one, two, three, four, and then four on the other side. One, two, three, four. So this is this is kind of like the middle of the room. So let's kind of do yellow like that. I guess it's going to be a bit like a sun. I guess so. This is kind of like the the yellow sun in the the middle of the uh, the room. And I guess we can do it a bit like a, it'll look a bit like a like a sunset. I guess would be a nice way to, to put it. Let's go and get rid of this uh, this torch as uh, so I can fit this in down here. So uh, let's do yellow and then let's do like pink because as if it's kind of like uh, pinky on the, the outside like this. Then let's do the rest blue because that's going to be like uh, a blue uh, a blue sky. That will look pretty cool, won't it? It would actually be nice to, to maybe if I... um. Uh, get some more uh, wool in the future to add kind of like some oranges as well to make it look more like a, a sunset but I don't want it to be exactly like a sunset it's kind of more of just a, a funky looking pattern to be honest and look at that the absolute perfect amount of pink wool that could not have been any luckier than it was sadly though I do think uh, that I am not going to be able to, to have enough blue wool uh, but yeah hopefully I can go down and get some uh, some more sheep later on in the, the episode and be able to, to, to finish that off so yeah uh, let's go and add down some of the, the blue of of course, the plant pot is blocking the way at the moment because <laughs> I haven't found anything that I can uh, place it on. But there we go. That how how much has that just completely transformed this room? Honestly, by just putting down a few carpets on the floor is completely transformed the entire style of the room. All right, then let's go and grab some of this uh, this clay. And uh, let's go and make uh, uh, ourselves some more plant pots. I might go and grab some uh, some cactus. I might actually do cactus. I might do them all on the uh, the balcony uh, around the the outside because uh, I think that might look pretty cool. So let's go and uh, uh, grab some of this uh, this cactus around here. I kind of generally only break away the the top two blocks uh, just so then it can uh, go and grow back. Like. I know I'm not going to run out of cactus in this land. Kind of like sand, cactus is going to be just a block that I never need to worry about because, yeah, I live in a desert. But <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of, I still can't fight my instinct of uh, of not trying to uh, to break away the uh, the entire thing. So I know it's getting dark now, but let's go and uh, and uh, spread out a few torches around here. And of course, at night time, that's kind of the um, that's kind of the the best time to to work out uh, where where is dark and where you still need to to light up, uh, just because you can see like a, a bunch of spaces there. So uh, cactus is um. A little bit weird because I guess it's kind of um I I, I guess cactus would be okay to place I don't know because I don't know if I'd count a plant as a block so I guess that cactus might be okay anyway but the thing is as I place it in a plant pot it won't even be um it won't even be block shaped will it because um you know it's gonna be like a, a little tube isn't it you know you kind of know what cactus looks like uh, when it's in a, a plant pot so uh, it's kind of funny that like I'm not really placing a block uh, because it kind of changes from looking kind of block shape uh, to to kind of being something really small so yeah uh, let's go to to bed uh, can I do the uh, the last few finishing touches of the uh, the bedroom and then in the next episode, I'm going to, I'm going to go and carry on focusing uh, on uh, on getting some of these uh, some of these trophies. So uh, kind of as I've mentioned before, I'm basically going to be trying to as much as I can just alternate uh, between. Um uh, between uh, doing episodes like this where I kind of get, uh, you know, get my hands dirty and start doing uh, some of the, the decorations and then the other episodes where I'm going to be 100% uh, focused on just trying to get the uh, the new trophy. So hopefully by the end of the, the series, whenever it does eventually end, uh, yeah, I'm going to be uh, going to have all of the trophies I need, but also hopefully I've ended up uh, with a pretty snazzy looking place to live as well. That's that's the goal. I'm kind of uh, focusing on uh, them both as much as, uh, as much as each other. So I've got a little bit of more blue wool. I don't 
don't know if that's going to be enough to finish the carpet. To be fair, there wasn't really uh, much more that I needed uh, to do anyway in terms of the carpet. So hopefully uh, that might be uh, enough to, to finish it off. Let's go and uh, get some... Um, uh, some more plant pots uh, as well. And so, yeah, I think I'm just going to put these around on the uh, the floor and uh, decorate it that way. I also want to make a door. I haven't got a door upstairs either. So let's go and uh, make myself a, a door as well while I'm here. Uh, do I have any Do I have any wood on me? I think I might have used it all up. Do I have any in here? Oh, I have a few oak planks. Is this enough to, to make a, a door, though? Uh, it is. Oh, almost. Oh, just about. Just about. I had uh, one block spare. So there we go. I can at least go and uh, place a door. And this is to, to lead to my balcony as well. So I've kind of uh, left uh, that completely open for, for now. And look at this. Look at my bed. Oh, it's so nice. So of course the, um, the bed doesn't have the carpet underneath it, but... There's not, not much I can do about that. That's kind of just the, the way the, the game is. So that is a little bit annoying. And of course, like, where this door is, there won't be carpet. But that's fine. Like, that is something that I'm happy to uh, to accept, uh, just to have this overall style. And, oh, I should probably uh, go and make the... um. Uh, makes the uh, the carpets as well. Uh, I can make uh, I think I can make six carpets. I think with uh, with four pieces of wool So uh, this should be good. Uh, this should be uh, making the room almost finished uh, if not uh, completely finished And you know what I can also go and uh, make a, uh, a Couple more of these plant pots as well So I don't even know if I've got enough cactus as uh, so yeah, the the, uh, the cactus I'm just gonna do in a circle uh, around the um the outside of the um of the, the balcony, and then I'm just going to put another plant pot down here next to my bed. And I think I might just put the uh, the same flower down next to it as well, because I think that's going to look pretty good. So let's go and uh, get another one of these daisies and put that down there. Very pretty. Kind of looks like eyeballs, doesn't it? And that's the uh, that's the tongue. <laughs> right, so can I can I finish this off? Is that it? Oh, there we go. I can finish it off. There we go. So there is the, uh, the carpet uh, completely finished down there as well. Uh, let's go outside here and let's go and start placing down these plant pots. You would think that seeing as I'm in a desert surrounded by cactus, I wouldn't, to, I wouldn't want to have a bunch of cactus around here. And let's leave one space there <laughs> so uh, so Porter uh, won't have a, a prickly bottom uh, when I go and place one of these down next to him. And is this going to be enough? There we go. I think that's been the um, the main theme for today is kind of having just about uh, enough uh, of everything. Uh, so yeah, let's go. Um, let's just go and make a... Um uh, a painting or two and I can go and put some of them up on the other uh, wall and I think that's gonna be that's gonna be just about it Of course this room still needs doing and I'm sure I'm gonna make it a lot more additions to the uh, the outside of the the house But I think for for today. This has been this has been a, a pretty good time I've done pretty well so far. And oh no, I don't have a, I don't have any sticks or anything on me So you know what? Uh, let's not worry about the uh, the paintings for now instead Let's go outside and let's admire all of the the hard work we've done today. Well the hard work I've done today, but you watched, you helped. <laughs> right then, so there we go, that is my house as it looks right now. Uh, I'm gonna focus once again in between episodes, kind of chiseling it out and kind of separating it away from the, the rest of the, the mountain in a bit. Um, I think in the next episode, I might go for the um, uh, the uh, the trophy uh, where I need to, to make uh, an enchantment table. So I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna work on the house a little bit. So I'm gonna kind of dig out uh, an enchantment table room and then I'm gonna go and try and get the, the enchanter trophy uh, so I can go and uh, put that down there. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the, uh, the plan for, for for next episode. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!